Hello everyone and welcome to another Spec War brought to you by James from MySmarterHome.com. A Spec War is my product comparison video. The four products that I will be comparing today are smart lights or smart bulbs and they are the Philips Hue versus the LifeX versus the TP-Link versus the SengLED. These four bulbs are often the biggest selling and most wished for smart lights. This video has eight sections and they are section one, basic specifications, section two, smart features, types and dimmer, section three, connections and power, section four, design and warranty, section five, remote access, Section 6, Smart Home Systems, Section 7, Related Products, and Section 8, Reviews and Ratings. These sections are listed below this video and to move quickly between them, click or tap on the different times. So let's get stuck in. Section 1 is Basic Specifications. Each of the bulbs in this comparison are made by different companies. Hue is made by Philips, the huge company that have been making electrical gadgets for decades. TP-Link have been making and selling network devices worldwide since the mid-1990s. LifeX is based in San Francisco and they only make smart bulbs. And SengLeb was originally a Chinese company and its speciality is just smart bulbs. All of these smart bulbs were, were launched in the last part of 2016. The TP-Link was launched in August, the Hue was launched in October, the LifeX in November and the SengLED in December. Looking at all of these bulbs there is a wide range of weights. Not surprisingly the heaviest of these bulbs is the LifeX and the TP-Link. I think the reason for this is because these two bulbs connect directly to your Wi-Fi router and therefore they have more equipment within the bulbs themselves. The lightest two smart lights are the Hue and the SengLED and these two bulbs directly connect to their own smart hubs and not your Wi-Fi router. Sorry, your Wi-Fi router. And so my guess is that the, these bulbs have less equipment inside them. The SengLED and the LifeX bulbs are very similar in size. They are both approximately two and a half by by two and a half by 4.5 inches. The Hue and the TP-Link are taller than the other two bulbs with the TP-Link being the tallest at nearly seven inches long. There's also quite a difference in prices. The cheapest is the SengLED which at the moment costs $8.99. Next is the TP-Link which at the moment costs $19.99 and the second most expensive bulb is currently selling for $44.99 and that is the Hue. The LifeX is the most expensive bulb at the moment and it's selling at about $52. Obviously these prices are chopping and changing all the time so before you kit can commit to buying any of these bulbs just double check on the current price. Section 2 is all about smart features, types and dimmers. The TP-Link and the SengLED only produce different shades of white light. However, the Hue and the LifeX in, in contrast produce up to 16 million different colours. All of the bulbs in this comparison are the latest high energy efficient LED bulbs as opposed to the older incandescent bulbs. All of the lights have a screw have a screw in fitting as opposed to bayonet. All of the lights can be can be dimmed via the app and none of these lights can be deemed sorry can be dimmed using a traditional dimmer switch that we might have in our homes. However as part of the Philips Hue range you can buy a special dimmer switch to use with Hue lights. Section 3 is all about connections and power. 
As I mentioned briefly earlier, two of these bulbs connect directly to your home Wi-Fi and they are the TP-Link and the LifeX. Both of these bulbs connect to a Wi-Fi network that runs at 2.4 GHz, which is good news because most of us have Wi-Fi routers that run at this speed. What is interesting is the TP-Link will only connect to networks that recognize an N connection, whereas the LifeX will connect to a network that recognizes a B, G or N connection. The Senglid and the Hue lights are two bulbs that don't connect directly to Wi-Fi. Instead, they connect to their own hubs. Wattage equivalence is a comparison of older incandescent bulbs. The brightest light is a LifeX at 75 watts. The Hue and the Sengled are both 60 watts equivalent, whereas the TP Link is the dimmest at 50 watts equivalent. Section 4 is design warranty or just design and warranty. Three of these bulbs have the same life expectancy. They are the Hue, the Sengled, and the LifeX. They each have a life expectancy of 25,000 hours. This means that they are expected to last. 20 years at an average use of 3 hours per day. The TP-Link has a shorter life expectancy of 16,000 hours. At an average use of 3 hours a day, this bulb will last approximately 14 years. Smart bulbs are some of the easiest smart gadgets to install. Just like a traditional bulb, it just needs to be screwed or pushed into a fitting. Then they need to be connected to a smart hub or your Wi-Fi router. And then a free app needs to be downloaded and this app needs to be set up. Three of these bulbs have the same warranty of two years. And those bulbs are the Hue, the TP-Link and the LifeX. The Sengled light has a three year warranty. Finally in this section, none of the bulbs in this comparison are designed to be used outdoors. They are only safe to be used indoors. Section 5 is all about remote access. Remote access is the ability to control your bulb without physically touching it. This is normally done through specially designed apps for smartphones and for tablets. For iOS, if you want to control your smart lights using an Apple device, then the Hue TP-Link or and LifeX bulb, your iPhone or your iPad will need to be running version 9 or later of the iOS software. The Sengled bulb only requires your Apple device to be running version 8.1 or later. The situation for using an app on any Android phone or tablet is slightly more complicated. The Hue light requires any device to be running version 4.4 or later of Android software. The TP-Link requires version 4.1 or later. The Sengled requires version 4 or later. And to run the LifeX, the LifeX app successfully on any Android device varies device by, varies device, by device. And so in this situation, your best bet here is to go to the Google Play Store on the device that you want to use the app and check out to see if your device is compatible. Owing to the fact that so few people use a Windows smartphone, compatible apps for any smart gadgets are few and far between. It is not a surprise that at least two of these lights do not have any apps that can be used on a smartphone to control them. And these lights are the TP-Link and the Sengled. The Hue has an app that has been created by someone else that can be used on a Windows phone to con control your lights. And the LifeX have an app which can be used on a Windows 10 mobile, but they have recently announced that they won't be updating it anymore. Many smart devices, as well as providing remote access via apps, allow users to control the devices using web browsers on laptops or desktops. However, none of the smart bulbs in this comparison can be controlled using a web browser. Although smart lights are fun and useful gadgets in their own right, 
they become even more appealing if they can work with other smart devices in a smart home. Just like humans, in order for any devices to work properly with each other, they all need to be speaking the same language or protocol or be using the same system. Because the smart home market is so large and lucrative, there are many different systems available. And so in order to get as many users as possible, these lights need to work with more than one system. There is a vast number of different smart home systems available and I include only six in my comparisons, but of course there are many more. As was mentioned in an earlier section, the Hue and the Senge LED lights come with their own hubs and these need to be purchased separately. The Hue must be connected to its own hub before it can connect to any of the systems described below. IF Triple T, or If This Then That, is an app and a website that allows devices to respond and interact with each other automatically via applets. An applet contains a set of instructions or rules that outline the circumstances under which two or more devices respond. Only the Hue and the TP-Link have official support on IFTTT, and by official I mean that they are applets that have been created by the manufacturer of the device themselves, as opposed to applets that have been created by individuals. It is worth noting that if you look what if you like messing around with devices and tampering with a bit of code, then you would probably really enjoy using IFTTT. All four of these devices work with Amazon Alexa. Alexa is a digital assistant that enables smart devices such as these lights to respond to voice commands via interactive speakers such as the Echo. Echo is rapidly evolving into an important smart hub from which many hundreds of devices can be controlled using your voice. The TP-Link and the LifeX can be controlled directly by your Echo, but the Hue and the Sengled must be connected to another, to another hub first. For the Hue, that is the Hue hub, but the Sengled can be connected to its own hub or the SmartThings or the Wink or the Wink2 hub. Google Home is Google's equivalent to the Amazon Echo and it has the same compatibility issues for these lights as the Echo does. The TP-Link and the LifeX bulbs can connect directly to Google Home but the Hue first needs to be connected to its own hub and the Sengled does not work at all with Google Home. Only two of these lights will connect with Apple HomeKit. The Hue will connect to HomeKit, but it must be connected to its own hub first. And the LifeX Smart Bulb will connect directly to HomeKit without the need to connect to another hub first. Two of the lights in this comparison will connect to a Wink hub such as the Wink 2, and they are the Hue and the Sengled. Finally in this section, three of these lights are compatible with the SmartThings system, and those three are the Hue, the Sengled and the LifeX. In this section, I will quickly go through a list of related products for each of these bulbs. There are four products in my overview for Hue bulbs. Firstly is the BR30 bulb, which is the type of bulb designed for outdoor use. The bulb provides white and different color of lights. Secondly is a flexible strip of LED lights. Thirdly is a dimmer strip switch. This one is specially designed to work with Hue bulbs and it was mentioned earlier. And fourthly is the Hue bridge. This is the smart hub that you need to connect your Hue bulbs to in order to get full control over them. TP-Link only has two related products the Wi-Fi light, light switch and a multicolored indoor bulb. The Sengled had four related products. It's got the outside light, which is the BR30, an indoor bulb with a built-in on and off switch, which is called an element touch. Thirdly is an indoor bulb that gives off a range of white light, which is called the element ambience. And fourthly is the Sengled Pulse. This is an indoor light with a built-in speaker.
The LifeX bulb has five related products. It's got a small indoor bulb, which is the mini white. It's got LifeX Plus, which is an indoor bulb with added infrared light. Thirdly, it's got a strip of LED lights. Fourthly, it's got a Color 1000, which is a BR30 outdoor light. And fourthly, sorry, fifth, it's got a white outdoor light, which is the white 900. To finish the video, I will look at the ratings and reviews that these bulbs have received on Amazon. What I've tried to do is show some of the most helpful statistics. To state the obvious, these numbers will change on an almost daily basis, but I think that the overall trends that these numbers reveal won't change that much. The Sengled light has the best overall rating at 4.3 out of 5. Then comes the Hue, which has got 4.2 out of 5. Next we have the TP-Link, which has a fairly disappointing 3.8 out of 5. And in last place we have the LifeX, which has 3.7 out of 5. In terms of written reviews, the biggest winner here is the TP link which has got over two and a half thousand reviews. Next comes the LifeX which has got 450. After that we've got Sengled and then in last place in terms of written reviews we've got the Hue light bulb with 193. Once again the TP link has the most answered questions at over 680. Next is the, is the LifeX with 662, followed by Sengled which has 120 answered questions and in last place again is the Hue which has 65. The percentage of reviews which are rated as 5 stars is an important indicator of satisfaction. The higher the percentage the more satisfied buyers are. For the top smart products, this percentage tends to be in the 70s or 80s. The Sengled again is top here with 70%. Next comes the TP-Link with 55%, followed by the Hue which has 61%, and in last place is the LifeX which has 51% of all of its reviews rated as 5 stars. In contrast, the percentage of reviews which are rated as one star is an important indicator of dissatisfaction and unhappiness. The higher this percentage, the more disappointed buyers are. Top smart products tend to have a percentage of around 5% or lower. The Sengled has the lowest percentage of one star reviews at 9% as does the Hue light. Next is TP-Link which has 15% of all of its reviews rated as one star. But unhappily in last place with 18% of all reviews rating the bulb as one star is the LifeX. Finally for this review we've got a fake spot grade. FakeSpot analyzes a product reviews on sites like Amazon and then gives them a reliability grading. The reason for this is that many companies pay people to rewrite fake reviews on products. The higher the grade given by FakeSpot, the more trustworthy that the reviews are. And it used the same grading system that we see in school reports. Three of these bulbs have an excellent rating of, or an excellent grading of A for their reviews, which is that they believe that over 90% of the reviews written are genuine. And those lights are the Hue, the TP-Link and the Sengled. However, the, the LifeX has a grade C which means that 75% of the reviews that were analysed 
were thought to be genuine. And that's it for my spec war. Thanks for watching this review. I hope that my comparison will help you to decide which is the best smart bulb for your house between the Hue versus the LifeX versus the TP-Link versus the Sengled. If you have any questions, please ask me. If I've made a mistake, please tell me. Or if you have any ideas for my next review, please let me know.